Good afternoon everyone. We've just pulled into a little channel onto a little bank and we're going to try for some King George Whiting. Um, we're just using Pippi as his bait and yeah, I'll show you my little setup but yeah, we're trying to catch some King George Whiting for bait for later on this afternoon where we're going to hope to chase some snapper, mulloway or gummies but yeah. So we've already got one Whiting. He's uh down there in the bucket down there, don't know if you can see him, but he's, he's in there. And yeah, hopefully we get a few more. Ooh. That's what we're after. Might be a little bit small, but... Grow bigger. I threw him away from the, away from the boat because uh, we don't want him to spook the school over there down there. I wasn't being cruel, I swear. I don't know if this is a whiting. Oh, it is. Holy hell! <laughs> Definitely a whiting. Give you guys a few tips with the whiting. So, um, what you normally like to do is start a burly trail. And then all you do is put a little bit of pippy on, or a little bit of squid on, and cast back into the burly trail. Because the fish will follow it up. And yeah, if you can... When you get one on, it's best to get it off as soon as possible and get the rod straight back down. Because they're a school fish, so if you keep feeding them, they'll keep coming. One. Yeah, other rod. Let's go. All right, so we've moved now. We're chasing the biggest stuff, and we're using King George Whiting for the bait. Um, yeah, this will be the first one with another rod, and I'll probably do a chunk off this one or something. Um, yeah. Get into it, just rig them up and chuck them out. Just like that. It's back on it. That is such a snapper bite. Move the other rod out of the way, or? I think it's right at the moment. I'll tell you what, this is a good fish. Yeah. Holy. I don't think it's a snapper. It's not a snapper. There's a shark or something.
Da. Yeah, you're on. Going up current. All right, we've just hooked up. I'm not too sure what this is. It's not really doing anything at the moment, but it was going up current. I'm gonna get these two rods in. Fish should be right there. Might be alright. Hasn't really done anything since it's taken the bait, but. Oh, we had to get under him. This was on a whiting fillet. It hasn't done anything since the initial run, so I'm thinking it's not very good. It's kind of just cruising up at the moment. It's on this line. Head shakes, whatever it is. It hasn't really gone for any really big runs, but it does have some good head shakes. So I'm guessing it's it's not it's not a ray or anything. So it's very, it's actually pretty heavy. Shouldn't be too far off. Hasn't really done anything. Just has a few good head shakes and then. It's a very big gummy shark. Holy, have a look at that. See you later. It's a big gummy. This is my best gummy shark. We'll get the hooks out of her and then put her back in when we get her up. Pretty good sized gummy though. Took a took a whiting fillet as I said. Some King George whiting we caught today. Oh, 
I'll try to get it up this side and then we'll see. It's pretty big. It's funny, it didn't really put up a big fight at the start and then saw the boat and didn't like that one bit and took off. There it is out the back there. <laughs> Pretty lazy gummy. Bring it up. Can move that esky. Get it going. She should be all right. Go on. There she goes. Whew. That was a good catch. That was a good gummy shark. Hopefully we get a, a mull away now. All right, um, we've just had a rod buckle again. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's just a pinky or something. It's definitely got the head kicks of a pinky. Could be a small snapper. Um, See it here in a minute. But definitely, definitely a snapper. Just a nice little, nice little snapper. A couple of seconds ago, I thought I heard a real, a real uh, pull drag. So this little fella might have been that. I think we'll take this one home for a bit of a feed, I think. There he is. So yeah, as you know by the title, I want to try catch a mulloway in Westernport Bay, which is like my local waterway. But um, yeah, it, it, obviously it's pretty challenging and not many people catch them consistently. And so I want to make this little uh, series thing like my mission and like my adventure on catching a mulloway. So I'll like tell you everything I learn and everything like I find out along the way, which helps me to eventually catching a mulloway.